mention that her dad cheated on her mom. I am done. Done, done, done. <laughs> My name is Mia Thornton from the Real Housewives of Potomac, and today I am going to be reading you Decline Cameo Request. What have I gotten myself into? <laughs> Who signed me up for this? I can't imagine it's gonna be that terrible. I hope. My wife and I are expecting, I don't like women say they're expecting, they don't have babies. And I was wondering if you could cry into the camera for a couple minutes to prepare us for the baby. What? That's a weird fetish. That's a fetish thing. No, I'm not doing it. I don't cry on cue. This person is going to get enough crying coming very, very soon, okay? They're not gonna wanna hear me cry. Go to the mall, there's tons of babies crying. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> my uncle needs a big pep talk. He's doing six years in prison for tax fraud. Could you let him know that A, I believe he's innocent, B, in the event he's not innocent, I'm done. He should not be sorry. And C, it's okay to do what he has to do to survive in jail. I'm not doing this one, okay? I want no affiliation. I'm not guilty by association. It's not happening. Ain't going down over here in the bill, okay? I'm not gonna give anybody jail advice because I've never been and I don't know what goes down in there. So I ain't doing it. Nope. I mean, you don't have cell phones in jail, do you? Cause what's he going to do? Send it to like, is he going to like send it to the prison guard and someone has to show him. Can you say, Hey, how's it going? Oh, wait a sec. And then drink an entire bottle of grape juice and then say, sorry, happy birthday. The juice thing is an inside joke where I address my sister. Like I have to tell her something, but I start drinking a ton of grape juice to make her wait. She loves you and she's a big fan. What? <laughs> is this for real? I want to decline this as well because it's just weird. I have questions for these, the sibling group. Maybe wine. <laughs> if they ask me to drink a whole bottle of wine, I can get that. Let's do that. <laughs> Please tell my friend Scott that I'm super sorry that I gave him bed bugs. <laughs> What? And please give him the number for an exterminator. I don't have the number offhand, but you can just do a quick search and the first one that comes up should be fine. And if you happen to have any recommendations that would be above and beyond, thank you. Are you kidding me? <laughs> if you gave someone bed bugs, I'm, I'm a little embarrassed for the friend who did this one. I wouldn't admit to that, first of all. I think they should have just sent the exterminator. They called the wrong person. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, wrong app. Please tell my boyfriend that I'm so sorry I can't be with him tonight. What you doing, girl? And that I was looking forward to giving him his Christmas present. And then blow a kiss into the camera, but please explain that the kiss is not from you but the kiss is from me, are you sure? I'm trusting you to do the right thing and to not take any credits for the kiss. It could not only cause problems for our relationship, but could potentially ruin Christmas. Yeah, no, you know, my husband doesn't want me blowing anybody kisses through the phone, okay? It's like a swinger thing going on here. She should have made the cameo herself and blown the kiss. The fact that it can ruin your relationship tells me it needs to come from you. Something else is wrong with the relationship. My friend's parrot just died and he copes with humor. Can you please tell him something along the lines of, hey, Jared, I wish you a great day in a live parrot. Oh God, it really would suck if your parrot was dead. What? and then maybe laugh a little. Can we talk about something else that's funny? I don't think, I think this is kind of shady. That's like, if someone is missing their parrot, we don't want to talk about the dead parrot. The person who asked for this cameo is not your friend, okay? It's not your friend, no. Mm -mm. It's almost like they know you're down and sad. So let's go ahead and talk about why you're so sad so you can stay sad. Yeah, those, those are not your friends. Give you friends. This is for my brother and cousin. I just want you to call them a little shit piss babies a couple times. I promise it's all in good spirit and fun. Thank you. Okay, this is great. Do I think this is comedy? Yes. Will I do this? No. Because I don't know who their cousins are. I don't want those type of problems. That baby might be a big man. <laughs> 
But, you know, I got a couple cousins that I would call little shit baby. So, I mean, hey, I get it. <laughs> Please tell me that I have the longest nose in the world. It's a compliment. Sorry, but I love you. Drunk and hoping you get this. It's a good nose. Yes, you are very drunk. Would I do this? Um, God, um, I will think about it. No drinking and cameo requesting. Okay, that's not what we're doing. Because when she's sober, like the next day, she's gonna be pissed at me for talking about her nose. Yeah, no, ain't doing it. So as a joke, for my girlfriend, Stacy, can you tell her really seriously that her parents are getting a divorce? What? Mention that her dad cheated on her mom. I am done. Done, done, done. <laughs> that part actually is true, but she'll know the divorce is not real and it's all jokes. So don't worry about hurting her feelings. What is wrong? We don't joke about marriages around here. No, we don't play games like that. Whether it's true or not, we don't want any fake rumors, okay? Y'all see how it worked for us. We ain't doing that, okay? No fake rumors. No, what that's, no, okay? No, still dealing with fake rumors. So, hey, I love your show and can't wait to tune in every week. You better be watching Tomac. I am constantly <laughs> inspired by you every day. Anyway, my husband Tom just left me and I just need you to tell him what a piece of shit he is and whatever else you can think of. Thanks. Okay, I'll do this one. Yeah, I got this one. I'm with my girl on this. Yeah, we're best friends in my head. Got you covered. Just don't have Tom knocking at my front door, okay? Yeah, girlfriend, I'm gonna need for you to just go find somebody else that you deserve, right? You deserve better. You know he's a piece of shit. Okay, I didn't say it, you did. Yeah, we're gonna go find someone that deserves you. I think the worst one, I don't mess with marriages, right? But the meanest one was the parrot. That was mean. I mean, the darn parrot died for heaven's sakes, you know? 